guys. So, Okay, sorry. Hey guys, so in this video, we're just going to do simple makeup. I already did my eye look, which took a minute, so that's not even going to go into this. But I used the Cargo Cosmetics, and this is the Namaste in England, oh lord, in India palette. And this is what it looks like. If I have it correctly, I bought this from... TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, I think their palettes are like $8 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, which is a good buy. This is the colors in the palette. And I used three out of each three colors. Um, I used, what did we use? Henna here. And then uh, Darjeeling. And lotus and then i did eyeliner which is kind of awesome which i know i barely do barely, barely make it i did my eyebrows already and i did it with the aoa studio um what is this super pigmented long lasting brow gel um it looks brown but it's really i guess not but i do love this color so, with that being said, we're going to do the rest of our face, which shouldn't take that long. Shouldn't take that long. But y'all know me, am I talking? So, we're going to use the Julius Please uh, foundation, the stick foundation. I do not like stick foundation. I just have a problem with it. Um, I guess maybe I'll do a little better. I don't know. But, that is what we're doing. Uh, we're going to try to use this brush again, which I don't really like it, but we're going to try to use this under the eyes. This is the pure um, whatever brush. And uh, what are we going to use for the face? I don't know what to use for the face foundation. Um, that's the end of contour brush. We're going to try one of these brushes and see if it works. And then if not, we will use uh, the Topsy Beauty. So uh, let's get started. Let me move my mirror over here. If I ever get a setup, it would be so awesome. And then we're going to use a contour palette and maybe the bronzer on top of that. We do not know. We have this blush here we're going to use, which is going to be Ciate London. What else do we need? Contour blush. And we might not even use, um, oh, and I might try to put color under my eye. I don't do well with color under my eye at all, um, but we will try to use that. And I actually did put some of this on my face already, but we're going to put it on the rest. And then go from there. How are you guys doing today? Um, I feel a little better, but I'm still getting headaches. The is starting to close um, so prayerfully that helps once it does close prayerfully 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 um, of course I still need other than to work done but we will take our time as we go through okay so I used the Dua serum stone I don't know this is the ultimate hydration skincare with um, Mexo. I like this because it is sticky. Um, this is not a primer. It is a moisturizer and enhance and it's moisturizing and enhancing whatever that means. Um, but I do like it because it is sticky. So we're going to use this. Um, I don't use it often at all. I just saw it on this my little table here. For some reason I blew and then you know decided to use it. Okay so let's get started. This doesn't even look like it is Remotely to my shade, or maybe it does. Who the heck never knows? Okay, so we're not gonna trip too much about it. Too much. We're not gonna trip too much about it. Now, what did I say he was gonna use? Oh, Lord. Let's try one of these. Let's try. I still do have pain um, sensitivity in this area. So I'm not even going to fully go under my eyes since I'm doing concealer anyway. I don't really need to. 
At least in my mind, I don't need to. <laughs> I'm just telling you guys how I feel. In my mind, I don't need to. So we're not going to do it. But what I'm trying to do also is just find little ways to um, make my videos shorter. Um, I know I have to work on the length of time that I talk. But I also want to make them shorter. All of my videos should not be 30, 45 minutes. Um, it just shouldn't. Because I barely watch videos that are 30, 45 minutes. Now, I let them play. Um, I do a lot of, like, I do let a lot of videos play while I'm doing something else. Um, I haven't been doing that lately. Um, I have not been doing that lately. But for the most part, I will just, you know, if I'm doing something or reading, I still let a video play. Um, I have people, you know, YouTubers that I actually do follow. So, I do support them letting it just, you know, play. If it's a video that I'm not 100% fully interested in, I still want them to get their screen time and stuff. So, I let things just play in the background. Like I said, I haven't been doing it lately, but I just let things play in the background. And... That way, to get time, um, you know, their views, or at least a view for me. Um, and if I'm busy, it still gets played, but I do something else. Now, some things, you know, of course, you still hear and listen to certain things and keywords and stuff. Perk your ears up. And so I will go back and look at certain things if I'm interested, but some things I just let. I just let play while I'm doing something else. So if I'm on the internet searching something, I do let it play in the background as well. Um, but that's just me. I'm just telling you how, how, how I am and how I do it. Um, not saying that y'all have to, but that's just what Reba does. That's just what Reba does. Okay, so we're stretched out. Put on whatever we're put on so we're at a good start already we're at a good start already okay i got my fan and stuff on because y'all know once i put makeup on my face will sweat for no reason no reason i'm already looking at this thing like i don't i really don't even want to use it at all At all. Okay, let's see. It just feels weird to me using this. It really does, and I'm not fully sure how to use it, I guess. And so to me, and it doesn't... It, it just doesn't do enough. It just doesn't do enough. Um, and maybe it's me. I just... It's not like a sponge or a brush. It just... It just... Look at the difference. Look at the difference. Doing it with the sponge or this blender... this out because that's just not working and I know I'm not supposed to do my full whole forehead so thank God for the contouring that we are going to be doing because either I use too much or I use too much and it looks like <laughs> I use too much okay okay all right all right
by the time we finish contouring and doing everything else, it should all kind of flow together. Dang nabbit, it feels like something is in my eye. Which, unfortunately, is something that I go through a lot when I play with makeup. As y'all know, I do not wear makeup during the week because there's really no reason to. I feel it. I feel it, but it's like I see it. I had this for a while. Or just touch the two okay so all right all right all right so I'm still thinking about getting the cream bronzers from Fenty even though it's going to be full price and that is really what's stopping me is the fact that it's going to be full price because you know I don't like to pay full price for anything and I really worked hard on that date that night getting stuff off for of 30% and I'm really sad that I did not get it that I missed it like I really am sad so also guys I am taking a break from getting my nails done I took them all off and I cut them all the way down um, my nails was as long as the acrylic and stuff that was on here, but um, by the time I took them off, they weren't even. And I personally do not like walking around with uneven uh, sized nails. It irritates my nerves. And so also, you know, as much as you get your nails done, your nails and your nail bed is going to be very thin, um, thinned out because they do sand it down. Um, so I'm just gonna let it start all over again um, and then go from there what are we gonna do I don't know okay what's next contour contour I'm gonna do contour or bronzer let's see I'm trying to learn to use smaller brushes um so I can chisel my face a little easier. I don't know if that makes sense, guys. We don't really need a lot of this at all. I, of course, this is probably uh, too dark for me <laughs> to use. But also, yeah, I know in my mind, I'm a dark chick. So this here is where my natural darkness goes to, which is what I use um as a guide to do my contour so here and here now are they even i i don't know i don't know And I do think it's better to use a smaller brush. For some reason, I use thick brushes and then I just kind of get lost. Now, y'all know I like to curve it a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but it works for me. Well, I like it. Let's say that it might not work, but I like it. I do like it. Okay. Let us just kind of do it out that way. Now let's try on this side because even though making things even ain't always my strong point. Or maybe it's supposed to go this way and then y'all guys help me help me okay and then let's 
kind of blend the little small strokes so that we can keep it thin or thinner than usual. What do you guys think? I think that worked. Do you guys think that worked? <laughs> okay. So that is where we're gonna leave it at. That's where we're going to leave it at. That is where we're going to leave it at. Now, of course, guys, this is a bronzer. So, what is the difference between a bronzer and a, a contour? I don't know. All I know is the darker the skin tone. I do know that, that much. I do know that much. But that's about all I know. I know and understand in this instant. So, yeah, that's, that's really all that I understand. Okay, so let us try to contour our nose and we're going to use donut. Let's see, because you know, my lady, she only, she doesn't do her whole nose. Now, granted, her nose is smaller than mine. Um, tip, I used to want to get a nose job. Before I got comfortable in my skin. I wanted a nose job. Actually, I do like doing a partial like this. I'm not trying to have a, a smaller nose because that's not, this is not my nose shape. This, this is my nose shape. But to do it like this and not go all the way down is not bad. At all. I like that. I like that. Jackie. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie Ann. I love her. I love her. And yes, I watch YouTubers of all ethnicities. Um... Even on the makeup standpoint, you know, I watch different ranges. I don't just watch people with my skin tone. Um, I watch darker skin tones, lighter skin tones, Caucasians, and other nationalities that's past black and white. Because um, everybody has different techniques, I think it's interesting. And yeah, everybody has different techniques and I think it's interesting. What are we doing? We talked about a blush. I ain't been nowhere. I ain't been nowhere but sitting here and I cannot find the blush, which means we're going to use something else because I'm not about to, oh, okay, because I'm not about to sit here and argue with you. And yes, these are real life conversations that I have with myself. Okay, so I do like this bronzer. I do. I forgot my forehead. I forgot my forehead. And the rest of my face to bronze. Because we did not. But we are trying to get. Something. I like this. Um, this. Oh lord. What is this? It's not a. Uh, cheek thing whatever it's marble light in the color halo um i like the blush because it's subtle um yeah i know i can go overly heavy-handed on a blush <laughs> i don't mean to but i can um most of the time i don't mean to 90 percent of the time i really don't mean to but I like color, and unfortunately, I like colors of blushes that are more than like too deep for my skin tone. But we play with it anyway. Okay, so if I didn't stop talking, this video, of course, wouldn't be this long. But I just, I just have a problem. I just, I know I do. I know I do. Okay, so let's use the rest of your. Okay. Let's contour the rest of the space because my forehead right now. This is too much. Okay. 
stipple this in. Stipple this in. Okay, that actually does work. It does make a difference. I'm starting to see things slowly, but surely doing makeup and the difference that it makes. Because at one point, I'm just like, it really don't make a difference. But it does. Uh, especially when you do highlight your forehead um, to do this stuff. Now, I'm just going to use Donut, which is the lighter color here. Um and do under <sighs> my chin. Ooh. So I eat raisins as snacks. I know that's just kind of out there, but I just thought about it just now because I got the stomach is harassing my nerve. Um, I have a little bit of raisins left at my job. A little bit of reason left at my job. Is this even doing anything, guys? Can you see a difference here? Because I really can't tell. I really can't tell. Y'all let me know if y'all see a difference. I do try to chisel around my chin. I usually don't use this big brush. I use a little contour brush. Um, y'all let me know if it makes a difference also to do this. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me finish powder and everything and then we come back and we'll do the final because we're at 25 minutes in. I, I know, I know guys, I know. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, we are very much up close, too close for y'all guys to be looking at my face, but... Uh, for the sake of the video we're going to do that um so with that being said this is everything um i think it looks great you know i have issues with my skin um so i don't have a smooth canvas but for the most part the makeup itself and the application i do like the look of it and how it did come out um this part here, I and of course under my eyes, the mascara doesn't touch under my eyes. It's just it's just something that my face goes through. You know, I don't know if we just too little chunky around here and it just touches. I don't know. I don't know. But this is the final look. I do like it. Um I I really do like it. I am just in my mind, to me, I'm getting better um as I progress and things like that i do also like the bronzer contour whatever because to me they're one of the same but i do like the brush that i used so it's not as far down as it usually is and it's not as thick as it usually is also so i do like that as well um but yes i do i got lines on my forehead because i do this all day so i am not even upset about that um at all but this is what this face looks like. I, I I like it. I do. I really do like it. So, yeah. You guys, let me know what y'all guys think. Is it gonna make a difference? Not too much. Um, but I still like opinions. I still like opinions. Y'all know I just I'm so silly. Don't, don't pay me no mind. No mind. Sorry guys. I'm trying to back up. Um, as far as my lips, I use the mini. Who is this? Y'all don't judge me. Um, Pat McGrath. A little mini Pat McGrath. I like this one. Um, and as you see, it is very much a red. Now, while I'm looking at it, it don't look red like that in here. But it actually does match the lip color, which, of course, is fine. And it should. Um, smooth application. I love how this feels on the lips. I also did not overline my lip today or over apply, you know, over mark my lips or whatever the case may be. This is in Forever Dream. And 
Do I think it was the eye look? I have no idea, but I'm worried anyway. Also, I did underneath my eyes, which were not too bad at all. Um, too bad at all. Like, I'm just, I'm just proud of myself. Just am. Just am. But yes, this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super long just to have my face, but y'all know I also just like to chat and talk. We're working on it, though. We are really working on it. Um, and that is it. I love you guys to pieces. I appreciate you guys very much. Thank you so much for sticking along, tagging along, and watching these videos. Um, or even clicking on the videos because I know it's a lot to get through a whole video with me because it is long. Um... But with that being said, I have to go lay down with my baby so he can go to bed. Because if not, he will stay up till 2, 3 in the morning if he can. Um, I love you guys to pieces. Once again, uh, please do subscribe, like, and you're always welcome to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And until the next video, I will talk to you beautifully different, lovely people later. Mwah. Yeah, have a good night.